of the Economic Management Team, His Excellency the Vice President, Mahmoud Baumia, has expressed the following sentiments, and I'd like to share them with you. First is that this certifies that the results achieved so far from the first three years of economic recovery that the managers of the economy have been embarking upon are true. Contrary to the attempts by some to run down Ghana's recent economic gains, this is further evidence that global economic watchers who are examining our economic data see clearly that Ghana's economy is back on track and the future looks even better once we stay on this path. Secondly, this outlook improvement is further evidence that all, including the global economic community, are clear in their minds and expect that as Ghana continues to stay on this economic management track, a positive outlook awaits us and the dividends will be for all of us to benefit. Things can only get better. All, including the global economic community, can have hope once we stay on this path. Now, I quickly want to um, reiterate the basis on which Moody's has revised our outlook from stable to positive. And they rate, among other things, the very robust GDP growth performance and outlook. You'll notice that the key supportive factor for Ghana was a significantly increased GDP growth of 8.1 and 6.3 in 2017-2018, respectively, up from the 2.9, 2.2, and 3.4 that we recorded in 2014, 2015, and 2016 before the Akufuad administration assumed power. Another thing that has accounted for this is the macro stability that we've succeeded as an administration in restoring despite the global and domestic challenges. A third is the fiscal consolidation that has been restored, has been sustained, most importantly, even after the IMF program. Additionally, the improved debt, man uh, debt management situation currently is a basis for this outlook. Sometimes we get caught up in quoting the uh, nominal CD debt. And then you hear the interpretation that it means the government has borrowed some more. The experts who look at the numbers explain quite clearly that that is not the case. The proactive debt management strategies that we've put in place give all of them a lot more confidence. Additionally, the very strong institutional reforms, particularly in the financial services sector, that have brought sanity and robustness account for this. The administration, through its economic management team, will continue to ensure that the gains made are not compromised, even in this election year. The administration will further ensure that the key pillars that have contributed to this improved outlook, the restored macro stability, rebounded growth, consolidated fiscal position, improved debt management, and the strong institutional reforms will continue. The people of Ghana can be rest assured that the economic management team will continue with the uphill climb of building a strong economy for all. And all are encouraged to continue with the necessary cooperation witnessed so far to this end.